open up because the Japanese were very closed mouth and they, they, they really hadn't talked about their experiences since the war and it was going to, they had even to their own families. So it was going to be difficult to get them to open up. So we sent this tape out with Yukio and the Yukio's in the film. He's the, the gentleman in the film who, whose wife I says... I saved him for 52 years and this is the first time that I have heard a lot of this. He has never talked about any of this. I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm... Many of the people within the Asian community are surprised that we were able to get these people to talk the way that they did. I mean, these people that we interviewed, they were real heroes. They, you know, they did things that Clint Eastwood does in his movies, that Arnold Schwarzenegger does in his movies, that Sylvester Stallone does in his movies. These people really did it. These little Japanese men, you know, mostly five foot two, five foot three, five foot four inches tall, they really did that stuff. I mean, every single person that we interviewed had at least one Purple Heart. A lot of them had bronze stars. A lot of them had silver stars. Some of them, since we've interviewed them, their silver stars have been upgraded to medals of honor, a few of them. Um, it's a few of them should have been and still haven't been yet. Um, I mean, these are like real heroes. They're, they're, one guy we interviewed um, did stuff that was like way more dramatic than than the stuff that Audie Murphy did that got him two Medals of Honor uh, after you know and that got him a movie career in the 1950s. You'll appreciate that one, kid. I'm sure you've got at least one Audie Murphy floating around out there. <laughs> um, but I mean, you know, I mean, I, I saw the Audie Murphy story and all of that to hell and back, and and um, and and he, he was a hero. There's no question about it. But these guys did all that same stuff and more, and they did it. Not just one guy; hundreds of them did it. What nine or forty five hundred total number in the four forty second over nine thousand Purple Hearts. I mean, everyone got shot twice. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, and they didn't, and the other thing that we learned, too, is that they didn't, like, claim Purple Hearts if they cut their finger or stubbed their toe or something, and as a matter of fact, most of them, the only time, one general said that the only time they ever went AWOL was from the hospital, to go back to their unit. These guys were, um, they were, you know, committed and dedicated, and they were true heroes. Also on Beyond Barbed Wire, um, I don't think in any of the things that we have done, um, whether it's the Steinbecks or whether it's a corporate piece or other documentaries, I don't think there's been any other film that we've had people walk up to us and say thank you for telling that story. And that just does it for me. It was really, a, it, was a lab, it was a labor of love. That just killed me for two years, living with the pain that they went through. But I'm just so glad we did it. I'm just so proud that we did it. And I don't know if anybody else could have done it. I don't think my generation really even begins to comprehend what they went through. I don't know if I could have been as tough. The members of our family. Terry said before, people would come up and thank us for making the film, and not just Asian people. That's it. We had a woman from South America who came up to us at one screening and thanked us for making the film. Um, and she had a very thick Spanish accent. She was a recent immigrant. And so, I mean, that response, getting that response, and, you know, and, and pe people sincerely telling you that, that they appreciate what you've done. <laughs> the Secretary of War, in the name of the President of the United States, as public evidence of deserved honor and distinction, the 442nd Regimental Combat Team is cited for outstanding accomplishment in combat. The gallantry and esprit de corps displayed by their officers and men 
in bitter action against a formidable enemy, exemplify the finest traditions of the armed forces of the United States.